So before we start showing you the app, let's start with the OBD dongles. Bluetooth one, do not buy, throw it in the bin, works on and off. Wi-Fi one, never had an issue, connected straight away. Bloody brilliant this one was. Same price, $16, about $16 for both on eBay or for each. Yep. So, just wanted to point that out before we begin. So, let's talk about using this talk app. So first, so I've got a Android radio in the car. You can also do this with your phone. Um, so obviously I'm using the Wi-Fi adapter. So you want to go into settings, Wi-Fi, and it finds it there. It's called OBD, Wi-Fi OBD. So you can click to that, connect to that, give it a few seconds to connect and whatnot. Then go into your apps or whatever, find your talk. Let that do its thing. So first you want to set up a vehicle profile. So you go into settings there. And I already got one there for my Evo. Oh, how do you... Uh, so if you wanted to create one, you just go create new profile. And then you fill out all the, all the, all the settings there. If you get an accurate fuel cross, a uh, fuel cost, you can it'll tell you how much fuel you're using per trip and stuff as well. But in Australia, ours is always varying. So that's going to reconnect now, I think. So let that connect. So you obviously got to plug it into your OBD port. Which mine is down at the bottom there. It's different in every vehicle, but normally they're around that area under the steering wheel in the footwell there. So I'll wait for that to connect. Alright, just to restart the app because I fiddled around with it there in the vehicle profile. So, the main screen is that. You've got fault codes, search for fault codes. That's your DTC. See, I've got one that keeps coming up, but that's because I believe that's my tune that's causing it. So if you wanted to erase it, you just go up to the, can you see it, to the little three dots, press that, and then clear faults on ECU, click OK, and then that will clear it. But then mine, will, mine comes up all the time. So the only way to stop them coming up is by fixing the problem this will not fix the issue it will just clear it and until it faults again whatever it is uh, I don't think it does airbag codes though so you've got all this other stuff my the one that I normally use is real-time information that's getting all the data from the ECUs I've got mine already set up so I've had a had some time to have a play with it cool I got coolant temp intake temp throttle Press your throttle down, it will change, boost, then I'm running the turbo. All information coming from the ECU. And I've also had a play with, oh, it's got voltage as well, which is handy sometimes. I've got, there's two speed ones, there's GPS, speed, and then the speed from the ECU. They're about one to two Ks out, but. Um, you've got timers as well, which come in handy, especially if you want to do a quarter mile time or whatever find a back road on the street and just do it or find a kind of old country road or whatever or if you're out at a um, race track or whatever um, horsepower yeah not really that handy it varies so I like using this one I've got distance to empty that's how much K's I can get out of the tank um, that so far it's been pretty accurate but you do have to set the fuel tank don't really know how that works because you got to set the fuel tank capacity in your in the vehicle setup on how much is in there, which is weird because you, because it's going to change all the time your fuel capacity. So I don't know whether you have to reset that every time or what. But yeah, so and letters per hundred's pretty been pretty accurate. 
since I've started using it. It normally sits around 12 unless you're thrashing it then it goes up. Yeah, that's just the main stuff I wanted to show you. Just having a look at this Torque app. Map view, that's recording each trip, all your trips when you run the app. Yeah, so you can do all this stuff on your phone or tablet. I just have it all inbuilt in the radio because it's much easier. So to add a display, you just hold that with your finger, and then add display, and you could do all sorts of things. Even view some data as well, but I don't really use that stuff. Actually, I haven't really played with it that much. I've just been looking at the normal stuff, so I use the dial stuff. And then you got uh, you got all this stuff. So I give it a few seconds to load it up because that will show you whether it's available or not. Because some stuff it won't. All the stuff that's not greened, green out. It's not coloured in green. I guess is the ones that you can't really use. So, for example, that one, engine coolant tab. And you click it, and then I choose normally medium, and place it wherever you want. Say so we want up there, and then it's there. And that's how you do that.